Bubble Grub by Anne Hearth. I got it. Jared put down the box of creepy crunchies. He pulled a sticker from his bowl. I got a bubble grub. Great, Dad called. Make sure he only sticks to your lunchbox. Jared pulled the paper from his sticker. Oops, his lunchbox was in his room. He placed bubble grub on the chair. The sticky side was up. He ran upstairs. Dad was coming down. Ready for school, Dad asks. I'm ready. Jared grabbed his lunchbox. He got to the kitchen and stopped. Oh no, Dad was sitting on bubble grub. What could he do? Dad read the paper. Jared waited. Dad drank his coffee. Jared waited. Jared still waited. Time to go. Dad walked to the door. Bubble grub was stuck to Dad's pants. Jared crept up behind his father. He reached out to grab his sticker. Dad turned. Have a good day. Jared jumped back. I will. Dad reached for his keys. Jared reached for bubble grub again. Dad looked around. See you tonight. Jared jumped back. Okay. Dad turned to leave. Wait, Jared said. Dad couldn't take bubble grub to work. You forgot your phone. Dad snapped his fingers. Thanks. He went upstairs. Jared followed. He reached out and pulled the sticker. Got it. No, wait. He didn't pull hard, hard enough. Now bubble grub hung from one corner. The sticker flapped as Dad climbed the stairs. What are you doing? Dad brushed the seat of his pants. Bubble grub floated to the floor. Nothing? Dad went to his room. Jared picked up the sticker and went downstairs. Now I'm late, Dad said. Jared held bubble grub in one hand. He hugged his dad. Now we could put his, on his favorite sticker. He looked down at his hand. Bubble grub was gone. Bye, Jared. Dad turned to get in the car. Oh no, bubble grub was stuck to dad's shirt. Okay, some comprehension questions. Um, some comprehension questions. What happened after Jared found the gr bubble grub sticker? Number two, where did the sticker stick on dad first? And three, where did the sticker end up? All right, thank you.